What's going on guys? It's Matt here. This is going to be a real crude short video, hopefully short, but uh, I was just watching a, a video and look, there's no offense to any of you guys who have done this or have gone this route, but I just, this is, I'm trying to help. <laughs> I just watched a video where a guy had uh, recently purchased a uh, m and uh, 15 Sport Rifle. That's all fine and great. Name brand, fitment's real great on it. Um, well built rifle. But for what you get, for what you're spending, I just, people miss out on so much more. Gander Mountain has um, this listed right now. Where is it at? There it is right there. Um, uh, regular retail, $729 right now. Sale price, $699. Now, if you look at retail rifles, $699 is extremely low. You'll see anywhere from like $950 to $1,300, depending on what brand rifle, yada, 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 all that stuff there. Smith & Wesson, great name, great manufacturer. But the pricing for what you can do building-wise, or you don't even have to build it. I'm going to show you here in just a second. Um, let me open this up. Uh, this is Palmetto State Armory. If you guys are familiar with it, great. If not, check it out. Because what I'm going to show you is that, um, say if you want to build something extremely close, if you want to build that same rifle right there, let's do just some quick math. Right now, and I say right now, they do sales and deals all the time. They've got a bolt gear group for 79. They've got a 16-inch... 556 1 to 7 twist upper 179. Okay, so that's going to be basically the same thing, except it's going to come with the forged assist and it's going to come with the dust cover. The sport, and then you also see like the Oracle or you know the carbon 15 that that uh that doesn't. Okay, so you got 179, 70 or uh, 179 and then 79 for the bulk here. So now we need a lower. Well, you want to go basic. There's a blim lower. Blim just means that there's a tool marking on it, maybe a scratch on it. Does not matter because everyone that I've ever got from them, I haven't found where the blim is. Okay. So, got our three numbers. Let me see here. Our calculator. So we had uh, 179 for our upper, 79 for the bolt carrier group, 129 for the lower. We're at 387. Now, most guys do a transfer for about 35 bucks. Let's just say 50 to make it even. 437. And you've got, if not the same, but maybe, you know, if, you, if you're not big on name brand, but I guarantee you, everything I have is from Palmetto or either Model 1 sales, custom builds. And I've had zero issues with it. 437. So what do we have? We had uh, 699 minus 437 or whatever it was. $262. What kind of optics do you guys uh, want to put on your rifle now? You want to put uh, AR um, Bushnell 1 to 4 on it? There you go. There's money for the optic and the mount for it. Or you can have your Oracle or Sport Rifle with no optic and iron sights. You can put a Vortex Spark. I mean, we're talking, you know, complete rifle. There's the money right there. It's just one of those things that people... And you don't even have to build anything. This this lower comes... This is built. All you gotta have is have it transferred to an FFL. Now if you want to go the route and buy a kit, you know, you can go that route and build it. I'll tell you what, there's nothing... Nothing to building these things. Let's go a step further, okay? So we got... Uh, let's check this out. Let's Let's take that off. 129. Well, hell, screw that. Here we got a uh, MOE edition. So we got a MOE stock, a little bit more custom stock to it. There's the the STR stock or something for 179. But let's do this one. 159. Okay. 
We had 79 for Bolt Carrier Group. We're at 238 now. <clears throat> they have one of their SQR key mod uppers for 329. You're getting a free float barrel, custom upper, key mod rail. It's a hybrid, so it's got fixed Picatinny at the front for your lights and stuff like that, and then real smooth contour. Instead of doing some weird hand guard or anything like that, you can add whatever you want to it or add more, add less, but it gives you good grip to it. Real full length instead of having the A2 post and a carbine length. Bigger sight radius. 329. 329. 567. What's that? Our FFL. 35 average. 602. 602 gets you a custom upper. Now, of course, you're not going to have the flip up sights. 30 bucks for the uh, front, 40 or 50 for the rear. So we're just about at uh, 675. Custom rifle. Or you can have bottom of the barrel, Smith & Wesson. No Ford Assist, no nothing. Guys, just get out there and look. Do some research. Stop investing in these companies that are just overpricing this stuff. You can have the rifle of your dreams. Or you can go baseline and build the exact same thing with a little more features to it. And got enough in your pocket, enough scratch left over to put your optic on top of this thing and really have a complete rifle. That's just my opinion, guys. Take it for what it's worth. But, um, you know, I have guys ask me all the time, you know, what do I think on building or buying rifles? I have yet to buy a complete rifle. Everything I have, I have built. And it is way more worth it. That's my opinion, guys. Everyone stay safe. Thanks for watching.